Shalom, Shalom, Shabbat, Adonai. Welcome to the Six Exodus program. Thank you for listening. The name of this segment is God Saw You 6,000 years ago. Over, let's say over 6,000 years ago. That's the name of this segment. The Lord saw you over 6,000 years ago. I want to read to you how brilliant and stupendous is the power of the Lord of hosts. This is the word for he who came to Egypt looking for help. This message from the Lord God of Israel, the God of the Hebrews. I want to read to you the power of the Most High. Isaiah chapter 31. Okay, let's begin. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel neither seek the Lord yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words but will arise against the house of the evil doers and against the help of them that work iniquity. Now the Egyptians are men and not God, and their horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hands, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is holden shall fall down, and they all shall fail together. For thus has the Lord spoken unto me, like as the lion and the young lion roaring his prey, when the multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voices, nor abase himself for the noise of them. So shall the Lord of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hills thereof. Birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it. In passing over, he will preserve it. Turn ye unto him from whom the children of Israel have deeply revolted. For in that day every man shall cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which your own hands have made for you for a sin. Then shall the Assyrians fall with the sword, not of the mighty man, and the sword, not of a mean man, shall never devour him, but he shall flee from the sword, and his young men shall be discomfited, and he shall pass over to his stronghold for fear. And his princes shall be afraid of the ensign. Says the Lord, whose fire is in Zion and his furnace in Jerusalem. Okay, I want to have a few comments if you can bear with me. Here, the Lord is talking about Jerusalem and the most recent visit to, to Egypt which is America. Now, the Lord is awesome, awesome, awesome. He see these things thousands of years ago. You know, it shows that God is truly a spirit. 
and he fills the whole earth simultaneously, the heavens and the earth, and generation, time, span, and dimensions. It's like God is there and he's seeing everything. Now, some of you morons think God is a person, but God is a spirit. You know, um, when I saw the person coming over here and asking, now you have, if for me, if you have diplomatic channels and you have a United Nations, you would go to them to complain about another nation's being unfair. But this individual comes to America on TV. He does not go to the president or go to any state officials, but he goes on TV and solicit help. But the Lord, the Most High, know all about it. Isaiah chapter 31, the detailed God, the most intelligent, highly intelligent spirit ever have been, ever will be. The Most High knows all things from beginning unto the end. He knows everything that will be from generation to generation and what everyone will do and where they will go. The Most High knows and he tells his servants, those that love him and keep his laws. He will tell his servants what will be from day to day. Okay, I want to end this segment now. Uh, thank you for listening. This ends the segment of they that come to Egypt and ask for help. Thank you for listening. <laughs>